Hey everybody, this is Kevin. Thanks for joining me with Walker's Adventures today. Today, we have got a tank leak on our freshwater tank on our RV. We got a Keystone Cougar 36 foot travel trailer at 32 RLI. So let's go see how bad it is. This is our unit right here, Cougar 32 RLI. It says it has a polar package, which means that the tanks have been tested down to zero degrees, not to freeze. You're gonna laugh when I show you what they consider a polar package on the insulation wires. I took down the underlayment. You can see across the back, it has bolts that you take out. Down the side, it has like rivets with no head. I just cut around those. And that's the best thing to do, then I have to reseal it when I'm done. And this is the only insulation to keep the tank from freezing right there. You can see the tank is just right there. I mean, there's, if it gets cold for an extended period of time, there's no way the water will not freeze. The top of those rivets right there it has poked a hole where each one of them was at. You can see the hole right there, the hole right there, the hole right there, the hole right there. So this is a real bad design for a water tank. Whoever was the person that decided to put the rivets like that needs to be sunk, or at least fired for being not that intelligent. So now I'm going to have to try to find some flex tape. I'm going to cut off those bolts so that we won't have this problem again after I fix it. But this is just, I, I can't believe they did something like that. And this is a 2018. And you can see I just got a couple of pieces of wood. Put it underneath this side. That way you get to the bolt. See the bolt heads are right there and right there, right here. And they stick up probably three quarters of an inch. The good thing about it, on the other side, I don't have to worry about the holes in that side because it was spot and they didn't put it close to the brads. And I thought since I had it down, I'd show you. This right here is your pickup line for your pump to pull water into your camper at the very bottom. This is your low point drain. You got your fill line right here, which is still good, it's not leaking. You got your vent line up above it. And these little things right here are your sensors for your, uh, how much water you got in your tank. So see this one will be empty, a third, two thirds, and full. And here I am cutting off the bolts that poked holes in the tank. If you haven't already, don't forget to like and share our video, it really helps me out. So I'm just going to use just some plain sandpaper and smooth it down to the touch so that it will have good bonding when I uh, patch the tank. So let's get to sanding. So we got a good bond and good connection. Oh, man, back to the store. You see the cup right here where it's leaking at. The whole bookshelf. So, well, as I was at Walmart, I got some. 
metal sanders will get it off. It's tanked from the tank. You know, since we're already here, we might as well go ahead and, and maintain the trailer. We paid so much money for it. So I'm gonna start sanding. I'll let you know what it looks like when I'm done. I don't think I told y'all I'm using a cordless drill to grind all the rust off of the metal. Works really good. Well worth the money. I know you ain't going to believe me. This is what holds on the underlayment. You see the washer. And then right there is the, where they drive it through the beam to hold it in place. That is what our water tank was running on. Four of them. And so, of course, it punctured a hole after, over time. So if you have one of these, you might want to go ahead and fix it and take these out. I'm just using a catch claw and a hammer. They come right out. Now I'm going to show you how easy they come out. You see my catch claw right here. That's how easy it is. You just got to get it underneath the washer and it just pops right out. I wish I'd have seen a video on how to do that instead of cutting my underlayment, but I'll have to fix it back. But FYI, now you know how to take them out. This is what we got, the flex tape. See how that holds up on it. I think it should do fine, but we're going to see and I guess I'll, we'll be the guinea pig and we'll let you know if it works or not. They say it does, you see them on TV, cut a bolt in half and tape it back together and it don't leak. So we're getting ready to find out how she does. Okay, I don't know how good you're going to be able to see this, but here goes a false piece. Push it down real good and make sure it's got good contact. Okay, there's piece one. Tape one, the hole's right back here. I might have probably about put two months on there. So on the next piece I'll have to modify that to make sure I don't stick that much on there. Okay, we're filling up the tank. So far, no water. So maybe this stuff does work. I was always a doubt about hey. So far we got no drips. And what's good about it, the hose is right here behind this piece of metal. So actually the weight of the water will hold the tape down snug. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit overnight and come out here and see if we had any leakage last night. We're gonna fill all the way up just enough to cover the bottom. So we will check back with you in the morning and hopefully we have a fixed tank for under $40. And I would have to say so far, it's not really that bad. I mean, if you go to an RV dealership, they ain't going to tell what they're going to charge to fix it. But we'll see how it looks in the morning. Good morning. We had a leak last night. So I had to pull the bracket from the other end and move it down so I could wrap the tape around the corner. You can see right now, you can see the water line up there. I got it about two thirds of the way full. And no leak. So it, it works. So I fixed the tape for $40. So now I'm just gonna slide it back, put the bracket back on, put the underlayment back up, and I'll be done with it. So. 
I'll show you what it looks like when, it, when we get done with it. Okay, everybody, here's the finished product. See, I got it taped up nice and neat, no air holes. Same thing with the other side over there. I have to say, on a hot scale out of 10, it's only about a four to do this. It took me probably about three hours total, both days, to, to fix my tank. And it cost $40 to fix it. So, this is Kevin with Walker's Adventures. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.